It's winter and it's important to keep yourself and your family well. At this time of year, lots of patients visit GPs like me with common winter conditions like colds, flu, sore throats and chesty coughs and some patients think they might need antibiotics to clear them up. Antibiotics can help treat serious bacterial infections like pneumonia, meningococcal meningitis and bacterial sepsis and they're used to keep infection at bay during chemotherapy, caesarean sections and other surgery. But antibiotics aren't effective against viral infections and most colds and flu and most sore throats and coughs, conditions which are really common in winter. For things like that, the best person to go and get advice from is your local pharmacist and they'll be able to help you with over-the-counter remedies. Even in some bacterial infections like simple ear infections, throat infections or chest infections, if you're usually fit and well, you might not even need antibiotics to fight off the infection and antibiotics might give you more side effects than benefits. Taking antibiotics when they aren't necessary can lead to antibiotic resistance, which is a situation where the bugs that cause infection aren't able to respond to the antibiotics anymore. So the next time you get an antibiotic to treat a bacterial infection, they won't work. Not only that, if you take antibiotics, you're more likely to get an antibiotic resistant infection and the risk is even greater for children who've taken antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance has serious consequences. Common infections and minor injuries which have been treatable for decades may once again become serious illnesses and it might even cause death. It'll be like going back to the 1930s before antibiotics were discovered. Taking antibiotics today when you don't need them may mean they aren't available tomorrow when you and your family do need them. Occasionally, the patient's history and the doctor's examination do not give a clear-cut answer as to whether antibiotics are needed to help or not. Therefore, this winter, GPs in Haywood, Middleton and Rochdale have introduced a simple finger prick blood test to help us reach a diagnosis. This test assesses a level of CRP, or C-reactive protein, in a patient's blood. High levels of CRP usually mean that a respiratory infection is bacterial and would benefit from treatment with antibiotics. If levels are normal, it's most likely that you'll be able to fight off the infection without needing any antibiotics. Patients have the test here at the doctor's surgery. You don't need to go anywhere else. The test takes seconds to perform and results are available within minutes. Of course, your GP will take into account your symptoms and your medical history to decide if the blood test is appropriate for you and you can opt out of the test if you want to. The blood test helps ensure that antibiotics are prescribed for those people in Haywood, Milton and Rochdale who really do need them and we're the first CCG in Manchester to offer the test to patients on this scale, something we're really proud of. So my advice is always take your doctor's advice on antibiotics and stay well this winter. Thanks for watching.